Oh, but uh, mic is muted. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, currently making sure everything is working. Let me real quick load up Desaf three. Okay, there we go. For some reason it reset oh, once again. seems to be set up. Well, everybody, you know, coming in. <clears throat> uh, let me get my... Oh, hey, I missed something. Um, thank you, Possible underscore Poe, for the follow at 450. Thank you so much. That, it means a lot. Man, honestly. Uh... I've I already missed this. Let me optionals. Um, full screen. There we go. Okay. Um, stream manager. All right. Um, hello everybody. Just popping in. Good to see you all. Start the period. God, I miss this so much. Seven and a half hours, eight soul saves. Yes, I wish I loaded a save file. <coughs> huh? So, this is it, I guess. Layer four. Oh, this is layer. Oh, right, right. We went to layer four. Yep. Yeah. It looks familiar. This is my house. <laughs> is this? Is this Peter's house? It certainly looks like it. From the little I got to see of it, from the photo he sent us in that letter. Um, let me. I have my little brother this iPad that I need to charge for. Him. Crap, my phone is about to die. Let me. Alright. What is the weird laughter I'm hearing? It's weird. <laughs> what is this weird laughter I'm hearing? It's just weird. I wonder why layer four looks like Peter's house. This is quite strange, admittedly. Spooky, even. I wonder why Peter didn't pass on. Either way, we have to find him. Yeah! I can hardly redeem my crusty soul if we can't find the guy, now can I? Lead the way, Sportsy. If you recognize this room, you might be able to lead us to him. What? What happens if I just. Huh. Well, that's not how that should look. Well. Can't say if it isn't more accurate now, you know. Uh, that's a uh, okay. So that's the one. That's a. Huh. Oh, I, I meant the arcade candle. God, it is just, man. Purple doggo. Oh! There he goes. 
Oh my gosh. Purple go fairy go. Fairy gosh. Hey mom. I love you. Okay. This place is what on earth? I'm it out. Something is off about this layer. Sounds like reality's breaking. Uh, uh, this place seems to be a mishmash of locations. Uh, of memories? Come on. We need to get to the bottom of this. Alright, cool. I hate doing voices for these characters. Why is there blood seeping out from underneath these tables? And why are there empty robot heads everywhere? Dave, was this your doing? Hey, you can put this on me. I have an alibi. Only. For the last 50 years? Yeah. You know what? Take a few trips to the John. <gasps> Random encounter. Even the music is distorted. Oh, wait. I can. Tamper! Oh my god. Oh, I didn't mean to use, I promise. Okay, cool. Yeah, just just attack, beat it to the ground. Die. Die. Jack squad fucking one. Woo! Why is there blood seeping out from underneath these tables? Oh yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, was this uh, your doing? Hey, you can put this on me. I have an alibi. Uh, yeah, you know what they feel. <laughs> Is this a game to you? Oh, hi, Henry. Plastic tables. Because plastic is clearly the most comfortable material for an audible stereo. Uh, hell yeah. Dave, we both know that the cushion seats we tried out just absorbed a ton of blood and mucus. Hey, the poops in the faxi strip club never got any blood or mucus on them. You stain those with buffalo wing sauce! Which is somehow harder to get out than blood, I might add. Good times. Ah, <laughs> uh, good, good, good times. Was that candy cond- Aw, look! A doggo. How cool. He thinks he pee 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 people. He pee pee. He pee pee. Death. Death. Death to all. Perish. Dun, 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 Who? Steven? Why? Oh, that, was that his name? I, I forget. God, this is just kind of unsettling. Years of reasons. Why is there a distorted, like, fancy, like a, like a foxy? There's a foxy in the swirl. You see how in the back, oh, there's a swirl? There's a foxy head. What the hell is that? Just, uh, just to kill him. Beat him to the ground. Beat him to the ground. Perish. Jack Squad won! Power of friendship. Oh, okay. So we can only go up. 
Oh my god, another just uh, escape. Start to escape. Huh. <laughs> uh, I don't re remember ever posing with a purple dog. You sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Think real hard. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, Dave. All right. All right. Just making sure. D, you need to calm the hell down. This is Peter's room. Are you telling me that you had a second room in your house and never invited me over for a slumber party? Dave. I only moved into this house after we finished working together. Still. <laughs> Reality use a zombie rabbit eggplant man. He'd stay in the cushions to make the place reek. Still. <laughs> this is my room. Huh, I always pictured you living in like, I don't know, a dumpster? Not since the mid-1980s, nah. Hey, Swartzy, what's seven inches long, rock hard, full of semen, and smells like Faxi's left testicle? I was gonna say cucumber, but now I'm like, I don't know. Um... A glass vial? Dave, I swear to God. It's out of time to your bed. Uh, Dave, there's uh, a child present. Steven, I haven't been a child for all about 40 decades now. That being said, Dave, if you ever say that again, I'll turn you into purple beef jerky. Can't turn me into what I already am. Six. D I told you not to call me. <laughs> uh, they got the, they got the, sis they got the, um, the, uh, personality for D perfect. Curious and curious, sir. Oh, hey, look, it's Foxy. I mean, a, lo a lot of games, and even and stories and some movies and TV shows and stuff, tend to fail on the writing aspect for w women. Uh, Dia's personality is definitely... Def Bullshit. Bullshitty. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, look, it's the bear. The hey, bear. Steven. What motion does this picture instill in you? Uh, Fear. Uh, really? Why is that? Because the bear's in motion! Can't interact with that. Ah! Uh, no. I don't want to have to do. Oh. What? Uh, uh. Oh my god. I, I didn't... Just, I, I, I don't, don't read any of this, don't read any of this, don't read any of this. Oh my god, I actually... Yeah, ignore all it, I'm, I'm skipping, I'm skipping, skip, skip, skip. I want to read uh, all of it. But it's all when it's you. It's good. Okay, here we are. God, that fucks a good. Wh what? Uh, uh. It's a guy in a suit. It's not like I. I actually fuck the real. Really, Jack? Uh. Oh my word. Uh, yeah, sportsy. What the? Dave, you hypocrite, you fuck the fuck so many damn. Yeah, but it's already common knowledge that I'm a total degenerate. When it's you, it's just shocking. Ah, finally. Okay, now we can move on. <laughs> that was funny, and alright. Looks like reality needs a man, or someone needs slime that creases out of the space time continuum. Fair enough. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Moves tamper with and then D and Steven.
God damn it. Okay, D. All right, sure. Let's see what the phone does. Okay, that's that done. Let's hope it gets on um, the the bottom, the middle enemy. Yes, it did. That was in fact a photorealistic uh, phone. Okay, uh, let's just fight. <laughs> Attack, they kill everything. Death to all. Billions must suffer. It's, it freaking attack. It's much easier. A3 damage, 60 damage, 44 damage, 43. Jack Squad 1! I don't like swearing as much. Like, it's just. Uh, yeah. Is this a game to you? Yes, I know. Oh my god, this is just a long ass hallway. Looks like Rian. What's. Looks like Rian. What's some. Looks. What's some. Looks. What's someone. Looks like re what someone looks like. Re what I was trying to get the dog out. It doesn't seem like it has a unique dialogue option. What was that? What's on the top right? Is that that's it's not that's the bear, the real thread bear. Man, it is just getting warp beer and warp beer. It's can cadet balloon boy. Eh. Music man. No. Hello. This thing can't seem to settle on what it wants to be, and yet each form is more cursed than the last. I agree. I hate. <laughs> uh, nope. Don't like that. I hate all of that. I'm. I think we're all in agreement when we say that that is just bad. And yet. The salad bar persists. Why on earth does the salad bar not freaking out like <laughs> everything else here is? That salad bar is a force of nature. Unrelenting. Unyielding. Who is laughing like a maniac? I forgot who's so we're trying to say. Is it Peter? I think it is. Peter's like my brother, I think. Look, there he is. Peter. Employee, I'm so sorry, I... Guys, what are you doing here? We're here to save you, you big dumbo. Oh, oh no! What are you even doing down here? Well, after Henry kill. What the fuck? Is there a person here that Henry has it fucked over? Me. Nope. Sorry. Yeah. He's kind of a dick. Jeez. What a scoundrel. Peter, we're here to rescue you. We didn't forget about you. No, you don't understand. You've gone too far down. You can't get back out. That's exactly what he wanted! What? Who wanted? I knew it! This was a trap! Jack, I was the bait! And he lured you into his trap! So be it. Can I- can I- I can't- I have to click on the window again. I guess I up tab somehow, uh, but it was still in the thing. Yeah. Well, there's no point in hiding then. Show yourself, hound. Purple doggo. What on earth? That's 
No, it couldn't be. <laughs> so it's you. I knew you couldn't keep away. With bricks, insurance to the zip, bricks, and the scripts, fit, bricks. Oh, my lord, what kind of accent is that? Speak English, Mott. The language we speak in the United States of America. <laughs> America! This is weird. What? What is this thing exactly? Some kind of shadow doggo, clearly. That is what I am, but that isn't my name. Do none of you know? Surely none of, none of you, one of you must know. Well, you're clearly some kind of astral moth, but beyond that, you've lost me. I think I remember seeing you once on the day Henry. Yes, I am the one that gathered the pieces who gathered you all here. I am the gatherer, the savior. I am the hound that dragged Henry Miller away. Say my name. Heisenberg. <laughs> Your name is Blackjack. You're my stray soul. Huh? So you do remember. Of course I remember. You know, for a little, for a what? I didn't know what you were. I thought you were ghost of my dog Sparky at first. You look so much like him. That you were haunting me out of anger. <laughs> for not being able to save Dee on her birthday. But no. Uh, you just simply took its form. The last family member I saw before I died in that bear suit. The only one I got to say any sort of goodbye to. You're the soul that left my body and never returned. You're my stray soul. Uh, uh, like a stray dog! Hey, I get it now! Shut up, Stephen. <laughs> I did return. I found you. I guided you. This game has some freaky lore, man, okay? Kind of building up as it goes on. Guided me? You hounded me! Oh, I get it. Hounded. <laughs> get it? Because yeah. he's a dog. Yeah, I, I get it. Well, you're all here now. So, we can begin. <laughs> With all due respect, Mr. Shadow Doggo. Blackjack. Uh, uh, Blackjack, uh, why did you use me to lure them here? What reason could you possibly have to find these four specific souls? Oh, you are part of this too, Peter. You five were carefully selected. Have picks for a special purpose. Us five. Have you ever seen us to fulfill that no other five souls could do? Why us? What possible reason could you have to gather the five of us in this place? My guest has never had a visitor before. Your guess? Yes. The Void Walker. Am I audible? Can I be heard? Okay, okay I, I am audible. Okay, just had to make sure. On my stream. The Void Walker. The Bear Man. Henry Miller. So, Henry still kid kid. Hey, after all this time, he still. Blackjack, with all due respect, I don't think there's a single person about this five that has another their life for in some massive way. I know that, Stephen. That's the whole idea. Wait, what? Henry needs to see you five so he can see the consequences of his actions. The fruits of his ill decisions. Ooh, that's, that's, that's freaky. What all of his work has amounted to. I want you to see if Henry is capable of remorse or so guilt. And when I have to turn for certain they truly isn't, then we will leave him there. In eternal punishment. This... This isn't right. It isn't your job to punish him, Blackjack. And what not? He has to take it, he has taken everything from me. He's killed my brother, my sister, myself. I am the soul 
you know? You're just a hunk of reanimate flesh that thinks you're Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy died in the summer of 1973. You are an abomination. You all are, in one way or another. Now it's Henry to see the monsters that he has created. Oh my lord! What on earth? This isn't right. You're not thinking clearly. You've just given the most evil man in the world. You've just ensured that he'll live forever. No hell, no real punishment. He's alive and never has to worry about death. All of this was about death, Blackjack. Henry trying to abolish death. And you did it for him! By dragging him to the void between timelines. He'll never age or grow sick or even rot. You think you're punishing him, but you've rewarded him. We need justice. Boss fight. We need to annihilate Henry Miller. Yeah! Shut up, Sue. Oh, there's nothing I'd love more. Let's smash his dumb pink face in. Guys, I don't know... What? You wish to? No. He's my prisoner. I will decide what to do with him. I will decide the punishment that he must face. I will leave him where he is to spend the rest of his eternity in darkness. Outside of time. Where he doesn't exist. Blackjack. We have to destroy him. What if he ever figured a way out? He's too dangerous to contain. Look at us. We're all broken because of him. We have to put ourselves back together. We must see justice. You don't think to decide what justice even is. Give me a second. I need to reset my uh, tree magic. There we are. I've lost everything because of that man. No, oh, no, <laughs> that demon. You want him dead as much as we do? Please. No. Blackjack, please, just. What are you doing? Blackjack. Stop! Remember. Flashback sequence. Was that the bite of 87? There's us on the right, Mr. Aubergine, Purple Man, um, Dave Miller. Purple Doggo! Aw, how cool. You think he's scary. Can I pet that dog? I wanna pet that dog. Haha! My plans go unnoticed. It's Mickey Mouse. Oh wait, no, that was the suit we died in, I think. Oh no, that was just uh, and that's him sucking kids. Good, old, good pixel art. I'll tell that. Oh, ye gods! My roast is ruined! See? Demon is incapable of causing anything but misery. What a... Holy funk. How could I have been so... That Majestic Fuck is the biggest threat to our reality. We need to destroy him. It's the only way. No, capital, or communism is. Down with the commies. 
Capitalism forever. America! <clears throat> Please. I know you want this to end too. You've been guarding him for 40 years. Aren't you tired? I am tired. Don't you want him to have to face the one thing he feared most? The unknown? Yes. The void is familiar to him now. I want to feel unfamiliarity. I want to feel abject terror. You can take us to him. Henry might have been stronger than all of us on our own, granted. But Henry isn't stronger than all of us put together. With the power of friendship and this gun I found, we can do this thing. You really think we can? We really? Sh oh, you really sure we can? Sports is right. There is no greater force than righteous anger. Hell yeah. Except maybe love. Yeah. Well, you're a sad puppet. Those two are Jones and me and Sports does Ambies. Zambies. Let's put the love thing aside and focus on the whole righteous anger idea for now. He is correct, sister. Souls are strengthened by emotion. While we leave him there, he only gains more spice and thus more power. We must defeat him once and for all before he gains enough power to escape. Well then, what, what, what are we waiting for? I... I'm, I'm not ready yet. Uh, uh, what? Sportsy, you heard the mob. Henry will only get more and more powerful. Uh, uh, I never thought I'd uh, say this sentence my voice ago. I, I, I never thought I'd say this sentence, but uh, Dave is uh, correct. Uh, it's now or never a reverie endeavor. I meant some consequence and then you should take the how. I need to finish up something. On the other side, in reality. Tie up one last loose end. I'll take more than a month, I promise. <laughs> I think that's all of us, all of our reactions right now. Very well. You have one month. Then, I will bring you back here. Thank you, Blackjack. Sincerely. Jack, please be careful. If anything were to happen to you... We need you here to help us beat Henry! Yeah, without you, we'd have 20% less meat sex kicking Henry in the balls. That's not exactly ideal. Don't worry. I'll be back. I promise. Uh... Well, all right, Jack. Stay safe, brother. Uh, uh, make sure to tie that loose end up tight. Uh, yeah, no knots or tangles. Rag, dag, rag, stallions. Uh, don't worry, guys. I know how to burn a knot, all right. Best of luck, sportsy. We'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> you see, because the there is called the flip side, and that's the joke. That's that. That's the joke. <laughs> sure, Daddy. I'll save. That voice by is now out. Uh, you know, out there. How long have we spent here? Well, the timer is you know much longer in playtime, and it goes much quicker. We have not been here an hour. The stream's only been running. For half an hour, so. Hey! Uh, um. Hey, sir. I'm back, and we're all set. So the final precautions have been made, then. I'm, um, uh, so... You bet! All entrances and exits sealed up tight. Other than the front door, there's no way out. Uh, Remind okay. me why did you ask me to seal the place up again? 
Not important an employee. But I really appreciate the help. Uh, no. Roger. My name's Roger, by the way. Uh, uh, it, uh, uh, it feels kind of good to say that. Roger. You're a stuttery, anxiety-ridden mess. And it was an absolute pleasure to have you working here. Did I just get Rick rolled and day shift at Freddy's? Uh, you know the rules, and so do I. Uh, uh, likewise, sir. Uh, I, I know this place came around 30 years too late, but... Uh, uh, yes, uh, okay. I swear, this place felt almost uh, authentic, you know? You must have really done your homework. Um, uh, this so, place felt like uh, home. It's good to be home. I'm so glad to hear that, Roger. Up, and then we're gonna let you down. And then we're gonna run around and desert you. And then we're gonna make you cry. And then we're gonna say goodbye. And then we're gonna tell a lie. It hurts you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know where it's like. Have you called the other two back? I'm too shy to say it. Uh, no. Yeah. Th they should show up any minute now. Oh, 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 oh. my ears. Uh, yeah. Harry, Jake. Uh, Roger, uh, my lad. Uh, it's good to finally meet you again. Uh, um, How the heck have you guys been? Uh, uh, Coping well, you know, all things considering. Lately, I've been living with Harry in his new place. Figured us bones gotta stick together, right? Jeez, uh, that sounds wonderful. Uh, Room for one more? Uh, uh, That's the plan. Uh, um, oh man, it'll be just like old times. Uh, no. We'll worry I'll try the courtroom. Follow us after you've said your goodbyes. Sick. Uh, no. Well, it's time for me to go to a new home. Uh, I guess um, this is goodbye, know. sir. Jack. Call me Jack. Uh, uh, okay, Jack. Uh, I'll see know. you later then, Jack. Goodbye, Roger. It's been fun. Now, go join the others. Um, so... Um, right. Uh, uh, You'll take uh, care of yourself, won't you, sir? Of course! Bitter lie! Uh, of course. You know. Ah, right, right, I... Uh, 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 I'll see you on the flip side, Jack. Shouldn't be long now. Hey! Oh, boy! Save the spring trap, Miller. Hey, day trap. I came back. I always go. He always comes in the back. You're late, Dave. You know that I don't like to be kept waiting. Well, do you remember the last time we saw each other? Sportsy. And who said that I was outnumbered? Of course I do, Dave. Well, now who's outnumbered? Okay, let's see. There is... If we're counting every animatronic, including the little chica head in the bottom left, we got one, two, three... Um... Four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten... Um, eleven, twelve, thirteen... Fourteen... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, animatronics, and then tw uh, 22 if we include Mr. Dave. Sportsy. Give or take, like you know, plus audience. or minus one. Boy, I've had a busy month. <laughs> Track him down every percent robot left. Every dirted soap bag at my disposal. Robots possessed by bad kids. Robots possessed by bad night guards. I feel like they're gonna easily betray you, Dave. 
I, I don't know about you, but I feel like that's just something they do, considering. This is my body. Now who's outnumbered? I locked the front truck on the way to your track. And now, you're gonna learn how it feels to be alone and outnumbered. It, this would be the perfect joke if everyone were to just start beating the shit out of him. My god, Dave. You're just as predictable as I thought. Oh, and what do you mean by that? Dave, I know exactly how to confront you a month ago. All of this? Carefully out scheme for you to bring them here. You've gathered them all in one place. Every survivor of Freddy is all in the same room. What are you talking about, Dolph? Yeah, what am I talking about? Wait, isn't it fucking? Do I smell gasoline? I made mistakes when I set for Fazbenter's Fright. Buying a funhouse in a theme park? <laughs> you had tons of ways to escape that flaming building. This building? I designed from scratch. This building was designed to be a tomb. Your tomb. You're the one who's trapped. You and every lost soul here. You're all gonna burn. Can't you see? Clever. Very clever. Clever. Very clever. Gathering us all here? What? There's just one error in your plan, old boy. There's no way out. Or anyone, if you strike a man, you're gonna burn with the rest of us. That's the plan. Goodbye, Dave. Oh, he's got his zippo. it all down with yourself inside all to catch me catch all the remaining souls they're all gonna be free Dave but what it's worth I'm glad it's all over now uh, uh, not, not quite uh, yet uh, uh, don't we have something else that we need to be doing uh, uh, I, I believe we were gonna face a grand and intoxicating uh, evil uh, okay uh, no nope, don't like the sound of that don't be such a big baby Steven Five against one, we can do this. Six. Six against one. Well, this is it. Take us to the void, Blackjack. It's time to kick some magenta ass. Prepare yourselves. You may or may not experience motion sickness. Wow, there's the bunch of eyes in the uh, background. We have arrived. So, this is the void, eh? Cozy. This place is just like my own bachelor pad, but nicer. Well, where is he? He is near. Visitors, I'm <gasps> quaint. <laughs> Welcome to Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. Has Judgment Day finally come? Show yourself, team. Yeah, stop hiding, you salmon-colored funk. As you wish. Hey! bip a da bop -a So, my jailer returns with five visitors, no less. Thrilling. What do you need from Henry Miller, the Void Walker? Uh, uh, we need uh, you to lay down and stop moving, like, forever! Yeah, we're on a quest to save every soul and right all wrongs. Oh, how amusing. If you think there's any hope of saving my poor, fragile little soul, you're mistaken. Oh, no. I'm just here to clobber you a fuck ton of times, over the head. William. Oh, how bitter. You've finally found me, 
and you've decided to join the others. Fancy that. I actually took that. I sure am, Henry. My god. I just... You really pulled the wall over my fucking eyes. You know that? I don't know what you did to my head, but... I can't forgive you for what you've done, but what you've done to me and everyone else. This has been a long time coming. What I've done? What you I've helped done? me, William. Every step of the way, I couldn't have done it without you. Or likely, I could have. Yeah, I was about to say. With another human meat shield. Or apologies. Whatever you are, you look about as human as the rabbit suit that you used to wear. I never figured out exactly what you were, but a human, you are not. You're the one to talk about- you're one to talk about humanity. You murder kids, torture adults. Divided families! Ruin lives! This is the end of your pathetic legacy. Henry. Oh, what do we have here? A gigantic, soulless, orange infant, two rotary phones, a sock puppet, the purple Muppet baby that the world tried to forget, and the dog of Christmas past. <laughs> okay, that, that's funny. I'm Dr. Henry Miller. And I'm going to teach you all what you failed to learn the first time I slaughtered each and every one of you. Oh my, is this Weezer? Oh my god, it's fucking Weezer. You're going down, Miller. You're right into here. Why does it look like the purple doggo is like a beard going on? That's supposed to be Shadow, but like... Just try and stop me, you photo-negative canine. Uh, I don't wanna, I, how, how on earth are we gonna hit him with all of the spikes surrounding him? We need to clear the spike before we attack him. That's the only way. All right, team, attack the spite! <laughs> Don't the hard users. I don't know how, like, weak these things are. So, I mean, I guess. Phone 2. Darkness, darkness, kebab. Okay, we're gonna save that for Henry. For now, I think we're just gonna do spite eight. Okay, so they do not die in one hit. Oh, lag, sorry. Corrupted, no more! Damn it. Ooh, it's a life drain. So we have to basically we all have to team up to attack one and then yeah. 
200. Oh, come on. Peter is getting very low on health. Attack! Attack! Ah! Ah! Lag. <laughs> so less damage should be in the theoretically be done so far. Attacking with fist. How crude. I prefer to use honesty. Whenever possible, Steven, your death was meaningless, an impulse, part of a bet that William and I had, you died for nothing. Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't let your guard down, everybody. Keep battling the spite. Okay, um... Try and revive Steven. I love doggos. Fucking kill the spike. God damn. Uh -oh. Okay. Hundred and one. Time to address the other. As if one wasn't enough, your own family died just to get away from you. You were an orphan, yes, but that includes your own siblings too. You meant more to the world as a phone-headed boss at a fast food restaurant than you did to your family when you were alive. Jesus! Peter! Dear God! Don't retreat, that's what he wants! Our anger just pushes us harder! Corrupted no more. Loving sister. Um... You know what, we don't need that. Attack. Oh hell yeah! Luck is on our side. We did it. Well, time to address the sock puppet in the room. Oh god, our healer! You couldn't save a single one of those children, and you sure as hell can't escape me. You couldn't that day at the diner, and you certainly can't now. <laughs> oh god! We're gonna fucking flay you alive, Henry! I'd like to see you try. I've grown weary of you, Mouth. You sat by and watched your old vessel commit atrocity after atrocity. Are we just gonna let him do this? Dead children. All the lies he wove. And you held me here, refusing to kill me while you had the chance. Allowing my evil to leak into the world again. All of this is your fault. You think you're wise, but you're just like Fred Bear, a goddamned coward. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. People are you. You helped me, didn't you? You've always helped me. You poisoned my brain. You broke me. You ruined my life. How could I ruin your life? I wasn't even there! You had no life. 
You were always broken. I merely played with you, toyed with your affections. That's not true. You've killed just as many children as I have, William. The same hell that I was spared awaits you soon. <laughs> That's just me, huh? Now, to finish this. Jack, you are a cancer. You have no soul inside you. No life inside you. Man, you're really just not... You're, you're just going for the real... No right to exist. No low picking fruit, eh? Yeah? I know I don't. But neither do you. Say whatever you want. You've taken everything from me already. You can never undo what I've done to her. You know. Maybe not. But. <sighs> sure, make sure that never happens again. Oh. Jack Squad won! Jack Squad fucking won! <laughs> Die, you piece of sh- <laughs> Dead butt. Nosebreaker. I, I don't. I don't understand. I I'm the protagonist. Oh, it's main character. How can this? He's done for. We've won. I really don't. I don't think this voice is suitable for this moment. One, one. Let me tell you, I have been sealed here for an epoch. Let me see. How long is an epoch or epoch? Never which notes. Google. Answer me. How long is an ep epoch? Epoch in geochronology is a unit of geological time that typically lasts tens of thousands of years. It's a subdivision of a period and is longer th than an age but shorter than a period. For example, the epoch before the last Heliocene epoch the Pleistocene lasted from 2.58 million years ago to 12,000 years ago. Epi e or epochs tend to be uh, several million years in length. The current epoch is the he Hello Holocene. Many epochs are simply tired upper, middle, or lower, along with their period name, e.g., the Upper Triassic. Okay, so you could just said tens of millions of years, but you had to make this complicated. And yet, my influence. The culmination of my being. I leaked into your world. Go ahead. Let me die. I'll be back. I always showed up and die. You think fuck. God damn it. <laughs> so is is that it? Here we have we. One? It's... It's over. We can leave. We showed that pink... <laughs> we showed that pink... <laughs> Hacker! Who was boss, didn't we? Henry has been vanquished. Truly, this is a joyous day. So, does that mean it's time for us to go? Ah. Happy to stay. Not gonna lie, I ship Jack Kennedy and Dave Miller. Or, or, uh, yeah, no, yeah, Dave Miller. Of course it does, Dave. But first, I think we all have something to think. I do think I think it's interesting that, that Henry Miller, this pink guy we just killed, Dave Miller, took a pseudonym. Pseudonym. Dave, Dave Miller is not his actual like birth name or you know legal name technically. Um. He was an orphan as well, so I think he abandoned his name because he admired Henry uh, so much. So I think that's, you know, dark. A little oh. Twisted. oh! Me! <laughs> okay, me first. Uh, look, employ. Uh, uh, Jack. 
<clears throat> I, I never really knew you all that well. I guess I've never really known anyone all that well. Uh, here I am, working a dead-end pizza job. My head is a phone, etc, etc. Uh, next thing I know, you show up, and it all comes crashing down. My wife was a lie, my life was a lie, and my kids are probably robots or whatever. Uh, but, that's the thing about you, Jack. You fix things. Even though you couldn't fix yourself, you fixed me. All I remember is you killing children, setting a bear loose in my restaurant, and going to, you know, freaking Vegas. But, you know, that doesn't matter. I hope you'll somehow be able to join us. Goodbye, Steven. You deserve some rest. Thank you, Jack. And I'm sorry. For everything! <sighs> I love doing that voice, man. It's my favorite one. This right here is my least favorite voice, though. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's time for the second phonehead guy in your life to do this. L look, bro. Y you know I've never been any good at apologies. Wasn't any good the first time or the second time, and this is no exception. But, if there's one thing I could say to you, it's that you don't give up. You come back to people, even when they don't necessarily deserve it. You always do. You vowed to find her, and you did. None of this would have been possible if it weren't for you. I'm glad you saved me, but frankly, I would have given up my salvation in exchange for hers. And yet, we both get to go together. This is the first time we've really been together in this era. The first time since Mom and Dad died. That's all because of you. Peter, I'm sorry I left you two alone, and I'm sorry for blaming you for what happened. Thanks for never giving up on her. On me. Goodbye, bro. I hope I can join you both soon. See ya, Jack! I really hope we get to speak to Dave last. He's my fave. Okay, my turn. Bro, you're a good guy. You've made your fair share of mistakes, but I've never met anyone willing to go as far as you have just to right their own wrongs. And often other people's wrongs. Now, you fought against the universe and won. You saved my soul, Jack. All of our souls. Sis, I'm so glad that you found me. I am too, Dee. I'll join you all soon. I just know it. Bitter lie. Goodbye, Jack, and thank you for everything. Aw, oh, Dave. Dave, my man. So, just me and you now. A, sportsy, and that purple mud. Look, I... Dave, I lied to the others. I couldn't bear it till. I'm not going to be able to join you guys. I don't care about you that much. <laughs> I do think there is a subtleness in everybody, right? In um, Dave and um, Jack's relationship, where they are, like, it's it's kind of insinuated that they're together and everything a little bit, or have some kind of, like, homoerotic energy between them. Um, like, with the sleepover thing, you know, stuff like that. I'm not going to be able to join you guys. You mean... I'm soulless, Dave. I'm a meat sack. Oh, well, your soul is right next to you, man. There's no part of me that can follow you. You're gonna have to leave me behind. Jack, I don't know what to say. I'm going to miss you, Sportsy. Kiss me. I... I won't go. I can't go. I can't lose both you and Henry. You're the tangerine to my ambition. <laughs> Will you be the tangerine to my aubergine? To Clementine to my own aubergine. <laughs> aubergine. I'm not strong enough to go alone. Not again. Put something into Dave's hands. This is my Sportsy penis. Wants... What did you just give me? It looks really weird. Pi... This is your soul. Take him with you. He won't leave you. That's his kind of his thing. You two can leave together. You two have each other now. Oh, sport! I I don't know what to say. I 
So this is a bed. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye. Dave. You are a complete and utter weirdo. <laughs> Goodbye, William. I hope you can find peace with what you've done. I think Dave's eyes were the last thing to leave. <gasps> Doggo! Goodbye, old sport. Oh. Thanks for putting me back together. Well, he's redeemed per se, but he's definitely in a like a higher pit of hell, you know? That layer at least. Oh, hey. Well, official art. Dave Trap's dead. Oh, so that's what I look like. Maybe a little better normally because of um, fire probably getting rid of a bunch of makeup. Hello, bear. Makeup's peeling off. How'd they make like a bittersweet ending to such a goofy ass game? Breaking news! Freddy's goes out with a burn! Hello, I am Alan Johnson with the Los Angeles News Network. Oh, where that one? This just in a local restaurant by the name of Bear. Seriously, who the heck writes this stuff? Has reportedly burned down in the early hours of this morning. <laughs> the restaurant was known for its large bust of a blue rabbit's head above the door of the restaurant. Man, I wish I took the Fred Bear head. The restaurant was a local hit, the last official franchise Freddy Fazbender Pizza location. No human casualties were recorded with the exception of the restaurant's owner, Mr. Jack Kennedy. Kennedy's charred remains were retrieved from the wreckage by the Los Angeles Fire Department. On his body, wrapped in fireproof laminate, was a last will and testament. The will contained a request to the city council to convert his land into a graveyard post-mortem dedicated to the numerous children who had lost their lives in various Freddy Fazbender locations. The huh. final line of the will reads, 
My final wish is for five gravestones to be built on site, for five souls who desperately deserve a proper burial, and ultimately to be remembered for who they really were. As always, I'm Alan Johnson with the Los Angeles News Network, and I'd like to thank you for joining me on this wild ride to the end. This is Alan Johnson, signing off. Stephen, Peter, D, Jack, and William. William Afton. Oh, okay. oh, this is like um. God, which game was it? Was it FNAF Six Pizzeria Simulator? That was like this like type of ending with one of the gravestones that was covered by um. Grass, whatever. Voice actors: Jack Dylan Fisher or Fishing at Ninety. Um, Scotty was Adius Bullboy Skyler, Steven Spellby 2, Jake Michael Vallis, Meadows 1073, Roger Jr. Genius, Hollister Sarah, Alan Johnson Newscaster was Oppeltron. Scott Cawthon for Vanaf. Thanks, Scott! A wink. Rasbowski, Daco, Apit Ryan, Baz, German Snake, Fusion Z Game for the continued generosity, exposure, and making me smile, smiley face. Fufu the Gargoyle, VG and uh, Glitch Pie for some of the fine pixel art scenes to Saf. Several deranged chimps for testing. Thanks, chimps. Uh, Will Sky for uh, Willy Sky Reader for the title screen and art. Coda uh, sp Design, sp Design for Art. Uh, and Comatech, Glitch Pie, Junior Genius, and Coda for Music. Super Strew for helping with the renders while my PC was down. Uh, Jackie Boy, FNAF for, FNAX, uh, for Music Band Renders. Everything Animators at Sab, uh, Azzy Red Eye, Critics, Mr. Um, Cooley Bart's Photo has the memory for Miles to Ruin with my work. Respective owners for stock images. Again, Flea, Mog, Heim, and Gal for music plugins, Steven Hillenberg and Steven Kroll. Thanks for all the laughs, gentlemen. Uh, Arm Chalko for Brett Bear, Rick Astley also. And now, a personal thank you. From Dogman. Less than three. Or more than three, sorry. Or less than three. Yeah, it's less than three. Is that the Dayman? It's a mysterious giant scuttler. <laughs> Shout out, doggo. Doggo of light. We've got the Nightman and the Daemon. Daemon! Layer of the Nightman! Um, weird guy. Weirdo. Bread bear. The police. Um, the chef man. There's D. Um, sportsy. And, and you know, Jack Kennedy and Willem Afton. Candies, um, burgers and fries, uh, guy, coughing baby, various phone men, uh, guy flipping the camera off, um, he who shall not be named, lest we summon him. That was, this, uh, that was awesome. Is there anything else? Anything extra? Anything else or is that it? That does seem like a final send-off. No epilogue? Wish you mine, take me by the hands, take me to the land. Wow. I gotta say, that was. <laughs> that, sh that was something, you know? Thank you all, as always, for watching for however long you did. Follows are already appre are always appreciated, but, you know, you don't have to. It's all up to you. Thank you all so much. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go read some uh, Day Shift of Phrase fanfiction probably. Uh, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and as always, I shall see you all in the next one. Bye!